Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, we're going out to Operation Grizzled Duchess. It's a very difficult mission. We do a vent breach option for Torque though, that'll be cool. Uh, Blue Blood, Torque, Shelter, and Axiom. We first time using these uh, special guns. So we have Fan Fire over here once per mission. And then we have the Rapid Fire over here once per mission. Uh, but exciting stuff. We do eventually need to buy another Android. Um, 150 credits, which is not cheap. But uh, that one time when we had to call in the... Or we got the reinforcements. And uh, the Android went down as well. So notice, like, we don't have any backup. We haven't had it for a while, actually. Uh, hopefully that works out long term. We'll see. Let's rock and roll. You'd think 150 credits would be easy, but no, it's not. Because you can't sell stuff in Chimera Special Squad. Weapon at this location. That really hinders us. Approach. All right, let's set up. Let's approach quietly. All right, what do we got? So three skylight options, and then or everybody gets uh, 25 aim during the breach. Successful shots on enemies crit. Uh, yes. Successful shots will stun. We go torque next, I think. And then blue blood, and then shelter. So uh, crit with axiom. Stun, stun, aim. Good? Let's see. Follow me. Surprise! Okay, so 100% there. We have that extra plus one damage now from the improved uh, shotguns. And then, of course, we get our chance to crit here. Trooper. Okay, Hitman. Bruiser and Trooper. Let's go on the Hitman here, 100%. Uh, okay. So we rolled low and then crit. We could just take this, but I actually think we apply the poison here to maybe the Bruiser, maybe the Hitman in the back. Let's put it on the Bruiser. We'll have more chance of hitting him up close. So he is stunned as well. Let's see if we can finish this guy. Or we go back here with the Lancer shot. Nah, let's just finish this one. And then the sneak attack. Oh, wow. This is like super separate. <laughs> That's scary. Uh, three to five, maybe kill. Nope. Whoa, we're so split. We're so split. Now, we've had a lot of reach options to this point, but nothing where we've been this split apart. So that's definitely a concern. However, I might be able to get him in here. Can we get through that window? Can't. We could... Uh, let's see. Can I surge at this thrall? I can. So I might have to do, like... I think we go Adrenal Surge right now. Then we do a couple of Psych Ups, go in for the Smash here, and then for a Smash on this Acolyte. And at least that way we've got some people close together. Uh, I think that should be okay. Okay, we'll do, uh, we'll do two Psych Ups here. On the edge. I actually just realized we might not be able to go through this window. Yeah, we can't go through the window. We can smash through the window. <laughs> so I imagine this is Axiom going through those bars and slamming the guy's face into the back of the bars. That's the only possibility that I can imagine. I'm going to get in here and maybe this will be good. Who wants I'm going to psych up. I'm actually going to psych up another time now. And if we go crazy off of this bash, then I'm totally fine with it. Got the stun. Excellent. There's the berserk. Go over here. Go over here. Oh, Axiom. My man. Okay. Didn't quite kill him, but still pretty good. Soul fire. So this is the scary thing about this enemy is all the guaranteed damage that they can put out. 
Poison Spit, three turn cooldown. If we grab this guy, he's gonna die. But we do need to put some damage on him. And then Blue Blood could probably handle the trooper there. Or we could just walk up and bind him. Can I bind from this angle, I wonder? No. So we can't bind over top. Well, I just made... Made this into a bit of a situation. Okay. We'll go for the subdue. So it's weird. We can subdue from over top. But that's it. Alright. That's fine. Because we only need... A little bit of damage there to kill. Either way. And then... Do we just go dead eyes? We have armor piercing, so... Even if we roll two threes... He still dies. We'll take the 90. Beautiful. Disoriented now. Stunned. Could kill there. With the stock. Take the whole wall down. Why not? I guess, like, you know, we should have assumed that we might take damage on that, but... I swap him over here. I'm just... I'm looking for creative ways to use this. And, like, you know, maybe it's a... Uh, like, may, okay, this is a way. Let's swap blue blood in. And then we can go in for a That's subdue. Freaky. <laughs> That's freaky, he says. <laughs> That's freaky. Subdue the target. Okay. Ready Psych up. I'm going to go for the shot. There's a chance that we could roll high damage and then uh, get the... Oh, yeah. Actually, we do minimum five now. That's right. 33 to crit. But he's got the armor. Got it. Very nice. Okay, next room, please. So this is likely where we see... Yeah, this is where we see the vent. So successful shots on enemies during the breach will stun. Uh, unit's turn jumps forward to directly follow the previous agent's turn. Huh. Or we just put everybody in here and everybody crits. Plus, the nice thing about this is we can use the smoke bomb. I like the crits versus this. Well, the smoke bomb's nice because they, there are uh, aggressive enemies. But then it's going to mess up our whole order. We could do this. We could put her here. Forget about the aggressive enemies. He has some rage, so there might be some panic. Um, so... The, the thing is, is that we don't get any benefit from Rush here. So what am I really gaining? I'm gaining a different entry point. I'm gaining a stun, which could be good against an aggressive enemy. Follow the previous agent's turn. I guess that that just doesn't matter in this scenario. All right, let's try it. Now. Keep behind me. Ooh, look at that big boy. What the? What is that thing? Bruiser. Acolyte. Thrall. Bomber. Holy smokes. Or the Hitman. Okay, so this is going to apply a stun, right? I think we go here. We get the poison and the stun. 
Then from this side. Ooh. Wait, where did that go? Hitman. Cobra. Oh, <laughs> we're seeing a bunch of new stuff. Okay. If we put this shot on the bomber, then he dies. We just don't have to worry about it. We have 100% on other guys, like this bruiser. I'm going to take this. Very good. And can't really see his health there. Let's do... I guess we just pick up the kills. And we put a little damage here. Ouch. So I don't know how many tur actions he's stunned for. Oh, We're two Cobras. Bomber's no longer stunned. Okay. So we're going to... First thing we're going to do is use this item. Mm. Acolyte, I'm not so sure. The Hitman, the Thrall, maybe. These guys are carrying weapons too. Let's do this. Throw and grenade. The... Cobras aren't acting until later. I have to imagine they're going to be similar to... to Torque. Hmm. This doesn't end the turn. I'm going to put this on these two. Then, can I pull that Acolyte? 93. Beautiful. Lock him up. Don't struggle. So dead here. Not quite dead. This is the guy with the weapon. Hmm. Let's psych up. I actually think we come in here and go for the uh, the hitman for another knockdown. Make a hole. That's it. And then I might bring him back up to give him a chance at going up top and doing like a uh, a rapid fire. Five to seven. Gonzo. Okay. Now. What's our fan fire like? Actually, not bad. We do need to heal. Three times at a target. We also have phase lance, which might even be better. Now, he has highlighted that bomber. I wonder. Does this one end the turn? Yes, it does. So we should at least take a shot somewhere. 66 is our best. Let's go on this one so that if I do line them up. Got the disorient. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to give the turn. Darn. I want to give Axiom the uh, the turn. Oh, well. He probably would have... Well, he's got the med kit, so he wouldn't have taken the poison, but... It's okay. Now we get to see what he does. Immune. Med kits. Immune. Snake. All right. All right. We're fine. Bubble grenade place everybody in stasis so it's what a three by three yeah it's a three by three so this guy's gonna die 
We could just take some knockdowns here. Arrested the hostile. Okay. We're gonna release the bind and we'll heal as well. Now, one thing I'm not sure is if we finish the mission, Shame you didn't resist. we just kill this guy like last. Would that be bad? Coming through. Let's do our rapid fire here. I want to make sure we get the gun. Early constant. Welcome. And then... Let's roll. Is down and out. Okay. So still in my mind... In my mind, I'm struggling with how to use um, shelter still. But hopefully he gets promotion. And we can start to see some synergies. We did get to do a swap on one of our agents there, and that felt pretty good to put him into a better position. But there's got to be something else to him. Got to be. Okay, unrest and anger's point is five, which we expected. Surly constant weapon. Glad handling is done. No one in the right mind should spend time in Old Town. City Council says they cleared out all the old mechs Advent used to send on liquidation patrols. But give the whole district a pass until they hire mercenaries to hunt mechs door to door. Somehow, the progeny got their hands on an experimental codex. They're using oh, it in ways cool. it was never intended. Take advantage of this. If you force them to spread it thin, the codex will deteriorate. If you force them to spread it thin. Hmm. Okay. Progeny leadership is entirely psionic. Consultation with the Templars suggests a human with powerful psionic capabilities. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. Three promotions. How do you inject so much naive optimism into terrible situations? Dodge reduced by I'm 15. Canadian. Or I was when Canada was a thing. Whispers Canadian. 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 Right. The maple flavored kind. Did you say flavored? Mm, medallions of Canadian. <laughs> Fresh off the griddle. Medallions of Canadian. Canadian bacon. Of a sort. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Uh, Mark Nada. The, he's the lead designer of uh, Chimera Squad. Just saying. Also Canadian and could have done some voice acting for free with a Canadian accent naturally. Just throwing that out there. All right. But whatever. Uh, Dodge reduced by 15. We probably want to get rid of that. I mean... We're offsetting that with the uh, with the mock weave. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Uh, let's do our promotions in order here. So, Torque. Reinforce scales. Torque gets plus one armor when binding an enemy and will not release the bind upon taking damage. We've had that happen a couple of times. Synthetic Venom. Torque gains a bonus to crit against poisoned enemies and will heal when ending a turn while standing in poison. Wow, that's actually kind of a tough call. Crit against poisoned enemies and then heals when standing in poison. So what we could do, if we really wanted to, we could we could even drop poison on ourselves, And then we could pull people into us and then bind there. So they we pull them in, they get poisoned, we're standing in the poison. Uh... I wonder what's better here long term. There are, like, if we're seeing those other enemies throw down poison, maybe this is the way to go. I'm gonna take this. I see, um, I see some comments when I pick certain skills. They're like, oh, why would you take it? It's so bad. Well, here's the thing. I am, uh, I'm well beyond anything I've ever tested. So this is all new to me. And so when I look at a skill, you have to look at it at face value, not having experienced it. And so sometimes, like in the case where we took that little zap on patchwork, 
it looks like, okay, that could be cool. But because we don't get some of the numbers sometimes, they ends up, ends up not working as well, unfortunately. Okay, so he's got Dazzle. Shelter launches a psionic blast that disorients all enemies near the breach point. Targeted enemy is disoriented for an extra turn. One use permission. So that's good, but we still need we still need way more from him, in my opinion. Promote agent here. So Fawn Farewell, last shot in each clip deals double damage. I think we saw something called Fawn Farewell in the gameplay trailer that we did like that 45 minute analysis on. Cascade Lance upgrades to ramp up its damage for each subsequent enemy it hits in a single blast. That's kind of cool. Even if you're hitting two, like that's not bad. That's a tough one, man. Again, three turn cooldown. I think we do. Hmm. I think we're going to do the Cascade Lance. This one might be better, but this one seems more fun. All right. So next, let's do what? We probably want to put people in for more credits. Spec op complete. Um, we're still a ways off of buying another Android. We can now do the, the progeny mission. So interesting choice we have here, actually. Interesting choice we have here. This was increasing by one each time. Progeny thrall, thrall units have extra HP. That's fine. But like we have a warehouse fire here. I'm wondering. Because this is going to this is going to go to max, right? I'm wondering if I can get away with removing one of these. Uh, actually, two of these. Actually, three of these. And then this was going up by one each time. And then I can do this situation here the intel and to preserve this one from going into the red. Beautiful. Uh, no, we have people idle. We do not want that. Getting the sacred coil gear. Um, patchwork. You're going to be <laughs> you're going to be in here working hard. Now, when we get a free field team, I bet you we could do an upgrade for that, too. I bet you we could. I bet you this would give it... Would this give us a free upgrade, is the question. Or do we take the money to get an Android? I'm going to try this. Free field team. It's five days, but we're not using her right now anyway. And then we set up to go on the situation. Okay. Lord here. Intel, unlock potential, terminals out. And then we go... Yeah, that actually worked out okay. Now, you can see the problem here is that a lot of these are starting to get up there. So, if we wanted... We could lock in one of these. Maybe this one to keep it low, or this one. Because this is only going to go up to three. Hmm. Because going here, we're going to ignore both. And you can see the problem that that causes. What we could do is... So let's say we're going to go on this mission, which I'd like to do. Rescue Compromised Technician. Um, we freeze one... We could freeze this at at one. This goes to three. That leaves us the most amount of wiggle room. And then... Oh, and then we see what happens on the next mission. Okay. 
Ooh. Markets here. Oh, look at this. Grants the chain shot ability. Though it first appeared in the hands of a Shrike mercenary after the war, this submachine gun is not a terrestrial design. Get a lyrium here. I really want that uh, motile inducer that we've seen a couple of times. Utility items. The payday. Anarchy and unrest. Uh, of this group, so Axiom, Shelter, Torque, and Blue Blood. SMG. Endless Brevity. So two SMGs, which we could replace. Grants the Hail of Bullets ability. Guaranteed to hit your target uses a lot of ammunition. Okay, so we're going to just use a regular submachine gun here. I'll give him this ability. Guaranteed to hit. And this is a three-turn cooldown, whereas those other unique weapons only had... Uh, Only had uh, one use. Chain shot. So it's cool that these these epic weapons do different things, even though this is an SMG as well. Man, I kind of just want to take all of these. I'm just wondering if that's going to hurt me by not upgrading um, field teams or something. I mean, we gotta take it. They're they're too cool. They're too cool. Crucial symmetry, chain shot. So, aim penalty of minus fifteen. If you hit the target, you take another shot on the target automatically. Yeah, it's okay. It's so strange that some of these you can only use once per mission. But yeah, I feel like our guys are quite strong. All right, so we're going to go here. Oh, why do I have somebody idle? Hmm, not much she can do there. What if I put terminal in there? Cherub, no upgrades there. It's unfortunate, but there's nothing I can even do with them right now. Um, once we get to higher level field teams, people are saying I can get an extra assembly slot, which would really boost things up, especially in this specific scenario. Uh, but for now, we're just going to have to to leave them. All right. So uh, next mission, everybody's got cool guns. That's very exciting. Uh, same group. Project encounters three. So it's going to be a little bit longer. Security doors, doors, windows, ladders. So nothing breach worthy, it seems. Uh, we can use a smoke bomb, probably save that for like the last room or Maybe we'll just see if there's like a whole bunch of hostile enemies. Um, but yeah, we should be all right. So wish me luck. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.